Partly cloudy skies, 79 degrees this Saturday afternoon, with the hype around 86 later on, with 61% humidity making it feel like 92 degrees and some isolated thunderstorms later on this evening. Your forecast for the rest of your weekend coming up in just a few minutes. Good afternoon, I'm Josh Blair. Last night, an injury accident involving a motorcycle occurred around 9.38 p.m. A report from the Gracie County Sheriff's Office says the rider, 49-year-old was traveling south on Kentucky Highway 185 in Caneyville when he struck a guardrail and was ejected from his 2007 Yamaha motorcycle. The patient was found over a 15-foot embankment and treated on scene by Grayson County EMS. He was then flown from the scene by air methods to a Louisville hospital. Kentucky State Police has released the identities of two people killed in Madison County when they say a minivan traveling the wrong way on I-75 crashed into a car. Killed were the driver of the minivan, 38-year-old Joe and a passenger in the car, 26-year-old Peoria, Illinois. Police say the car's driver, 25-year-old Metamoria, Illinois, is in critical condition at a Lexington hospital. The interstate was shut down for four hours during this accident, and it still has yet to be determined why the minivan was traveling the wrong way. If you want to put on that distinctive hat, carry a gun, and represent the state to the public, now is the time to get started. Jim Williams reports applications are being taken for spots in the next class of Kentucky State Troopers. The state police are ready to hire and train new recruits, but before applying, make sure you have enough education or experience, 60 semester hours of college, or an associate's degree. Or they can have two years of active, and I underscore active, military service. Or the third and final requisite, they can have two years of sworn law enforcement experience. Cooper Rick St. Blancard says you have to have one of those things, not all four. There are also physical and drug tests and a background check to pass. Jim Williams, KNN News. You can download your application for free at KentuckyStatePolice.org. A Fort Campbell soldier has died after his unit was attacked by small arms fire from enemy forces in Afghanistan. The military says 27-year-old Sergeant Jeremy Summers of Mount Olivet died Thursday, a day after the attack in Patika Province. He joined the Army in March 2005 and arrived at Fort Campbell in August of 2009. You've heard the phrase for years, and now it's here. The actual expansion of Kentucky gambling is now on track to begin in less than two months. Jim Williams has more. We're very excited to be at the forefront of this new development. Charging to the front of the pack, Kentucky Downs on the Tennessee border. The turf track's the first approved by the State Racing Commission to offer so-called instant racing, betting on past horse races via video. Track President Corey Johnson anticipates a boost to the economy. We will invest approximately $3 million in construction, and we will hire 85 new employees. Johnson expects his company's 200 terminals to be in place by the start of its fall meet September 10th. Jim Williams, KNN News. And for more details on these stories and more, or if you just want to listen to our free live audio stream, come to our website at k105.com. From the Thompson Broadcast Center, I'm Josh Blair.